Incoming freshmen again in university moving on to campus today a little earlier than usual this year. Chelsea Swift joins us in the studio with more on how students are responding to moving into the dorms and resuming classes this year. Chelsea. Hi, Jill. Gannon University students eager to, to arrive to campus. Some students being required to be tested for the COVID-19 virus if they are coming from a hotspot state or if they traveled by air. More than 650 new students arriving at Gannon University this week, ready to start a new chapter in their education and move away from home. It's pretty exciting to get to move out the house, move on, get to see who your roommate is, basically on your own. Students moving on to campus completing a daily wellness survey of the 14 days leading up to their arrival. One incoming freshman says she didn't think she would be able to come to campus this year. I'm really excited. I mean, I didn't think we'd be moving in originally just because of COVID-19, but I'm excited to be on campus and to be able to learn in person because I know a lot of colleges can't. In addition to having their temperature checked, students and parents have been given specific time slots to move in over the course of two days. And they're moving in today and tomorrow, um, so we've taken two days instead of one day to move them in so that we can give people a little more time to still move in, get comfortable, um, have their families be here with them. It's all part of an effort to follow social distancing guidelines, splitting up the students over the course of two days to eliminate overcrowding. Gannon University president adding despite the pandemic he's excited to see new faces. There's other things going on but we have to keep reminding ourselves that these are students that are coming back to something that is going to be the most important some of the most important times of their lives. Face-to-face -face instruction is expected to return to school on August 10th. Chelsea Swift reporting. Thanks Chelsea.